Welcome back to Jay's Way. First and foremost, repentance and true healing, it comes through the Savior, Jesus Christ. When we make mistakes, it hurts others, and it hurts us. We can be filled with regret. We can um, let shame into our lives. And there's a lot of issues that can come from those types of things. And what I want to talk about today is the process of healing from that. My perspective is going to be from the sinner's perspective. But the atonement is not in any way limited to the individual that has committed sin and is trying to repent from that mistake. The atonement is all-encompassing. It can heal you from your sorrows, your sadness, your trauma, your grief, your pain, anything that's going on and you need help. It's the atonement that can get you through that. Because the Savior and what he did for us is that powerful. It's really important that we learn about the atonement and believe in its strength and in its ability to heal. Without that testimony within us, it's, it's difficult for things to work in the, in the way and with the power that they should. The atonement is a gift. It's, it's a genuine and real ability for us to press the refresh button and start over. Without that, we would be weighed down with everything we've ever done wrong, so much to the point where we just couldn't find joy and happiness. And that's why the Savior provided the atonement for us. To believe in the strength of the atonement, we must first be ready and willing to give our sins to God. To give our grief, give our sorrow, give our trauma, give our heartache, give our pains. Give it to the Lord and know that he will take it. Over time, through whatever process needs to happen as us, for us as individuals, those things will be gone. And that is the power, the power of the atonement. To completely give us an opportunity to start anew. The next thing that I want to discuss in regards to repentance is in relation to honesty. Complete, and I'm just reading from my own notes here, complete, honest confession and repentance can give us freedom. And what do I mean when I say that? Freedom from what? Freedom from darkness. Freedom from anxiety. Freedom from hiding in the shadows and from secrets. Honesty will give us the ability to live a life as ourselves, as a genuine and real version of ourselves with nothing to hide. Nothing to worry us or concern us about secrets. Nothing in the shadows that can come up and bother our, our well-being. Repentance gives us, again, that reset button, that genuine reset button that allows us to now live in a world free of, of anything in the darkness. We're now who we really are. And we get a chance to live a life of honesty and righteousness and all of those things. Because that's what the atonement's for. When you repent and you start over, I want to take the time to express to you that it is 100% real. You are not partially starting over. You are not pretending to start over. You are not telling someone your mistakes and then holding on to them and letting them weigh you down for the rest of forever. This is an opportunity for you to give it to God. Okay, that's what... 
the recovery process tells you to do, and it's what needs to happen. Truly give all of your past sins and weaknesses to the Lord and let him take them from you. And now you get to start over again, and it is real. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. No one deserves punishment forever, period. You are free to start over and be a better person. That's what the Lord wants. So do it. Your loved ones get to see you be a better man, a better person. You get to let go of your past and not let it eat at you anymore. You get to start over. That's a real process, and that's what the atonement does. And it's it's fantastic. When it comes to the atonement, one of the things that must be discussed is that you make sure you keep Christ in the atonement process with you. We want to make sure that we are striving to grow closer to Christ and to become more like him. The repentance process gives us the opportunity to become more like Christ, to reset our our drive and our initiative to do the right thing. There's, there's nothing out there that demands perfection out of you in every single way. Do not hold yourself to a standard higher than what the Lord himself would hold you to. When you repent, forgive yourself and move past those feelings of guilt. Don't hold on to that guilt. Don't keep it there because you feel you deserve it. Uh, That was definitely something that I did. I held on to those things because I felt I deserved to hurt. And whether that's true or not, it doesn't last forever. Not for anyone. Everyone deserves to start over. The Lord loves you, and you need to love you. So this is just a few things that I thought maybe I could share about the atonement. And I hope that you can take this information to bring some light into your life and find the Savior in that light. Since the rep- <laughs>